Hello guys! Our video is about journal entries on acquisition of assets. So some of the transactions of business organizations or business entities involve acquisition of assets or buying of assets. So in this video, we're going to discuss examples of these transactions and how are we going to record them. Let us have this transaction. Equipment acquired on cash basis, so that is the sample of transaction. June 8, bought office equipment for 10,000 pesos. Again, on June 8, bought office equipment for 10,000 pesos. So let us analyze the transaction. Again, let us have a review. How are you going to analyze a transaction? In my previous videos, I already discussed how to analyze transactions. So you are going to answer four questions. Uh, the first question is, what are the accounts affected? So, after analyzing the transactions, you are going to identify, oh, anong accounts ba ang affected because of this transaction? Then, after identifying the accounts affected, you are going to classify now these accounts kung anong type sila ng account. Example, asset ba sila, liability ba sila, expense ba sila. And then, the third question is, what is the effect of this transaction to the account? Nag-increase ba or nag-decrease? Oh, nadagdagan ba or nabawasan? And then the fourth question is, am I going to debit or credit this account? So magde-debit ba ako or magi-credit ba ako? So before preparing the journal entries, first analyze the transaction. Balikan natin sa transaction, June 8, bought office equipment for 10,000 pesos. So what are the accounts affected? Office equipment. Okay, bakit? Naapektuhan sa office equipment, syempre, bumili tayo ng office equipment. So, affected sa office equipment. Anong type ng account sa office equipment? This is an asset. Okay, it is an asset. Now, nung bumili tayo ng office equipment, ano ang nangyari sa ating asset? Nadagdagan ba or nabawasan? Okay, nag-increase or nadagdagan. So, bakit nag-increase? Kasi, Kung dati, wala tayong asset, after nating bumili, nagkaroon. So, nadagdagan. Or dati, konti lang yung asset natin, bumili tayo. Sa ano nangyari, mas dumami yung ating asset. So, nadagdagan ang kanyang effect. Another account affected is cash. Bakit affected si cash? Eh kasi, bumili tayo on cash basis. So, affected si cash. Now, what type of account is cash? It is an asset. Okay, ano naman ang effect ng ating transaction sa asset or sa cash? Nag-increase ba or nag-decrease? Okay, nag-decrease. Bakit siya nag-decrease or bakit nabawasan ang ating asset or cash? Kasi nga, bumili tayo. So, nung bumili tayo ng equipment, ano nangyari sa ating pera? Nabawasan kasi nagbayad tayo. Ulitin ko ha, yung office equipment na dagdagan kasi nagkaroon tayo ng office equipment. Ang ating cash na bawasan kasi nagbayad tayo, lumabas ang pera. Now, sa fourth question na, am I going to debit or credit this account? Babalikan natin ang rules on debits and credits. So, kapag hindi pa marunong, pwede yung balikan yung video tungkol sa dealer. Uh, I have a video or my technique doon kung paano madaling matandaan. Yung rules kung kailan ka magde-debit, kailan ka mag-credit. So, balikan natin ang rules. Ano daw mangyayari? Kapag nag-increase ang asset, anong ginagawa natin? Tayo ay nag-de-debit. Okay, so, meaning, we are going to debit office equipment. Kapag nag-decrease si asset, Anong mangyayari? Tayo daw dapat ay mag-credit. So, ibig sabihin, tayo ay mag-credit ng cash. Let us prepare the journal entry. Okay, the date first, June 8. Unahin natin yung ating debit. So, debit office equipment. Magkano? 10,000 pesos. And then, credit cash. Magkano? 10,000 pesos. So, lagay natin ang ating brief explanation. So, purchase equipment for cash. And then, we always check if the total of debits 
or debit and credits or credit ay equal kasi lagi silang equal dapat. Pag hindi sila equal, something is wrong. Okay, let us go to the next example. Uh, supplies acquired on cash basis. O bumili tayo ng supplies on cash basis. So this is the transaction. June 10, bought office supplies for 2,000 pesos. Let us analyze the transaction. Anong accounts affected? Of course, office supplies or pwedeng supplies. Type of account? O anong klaseng account ba si supplies? Asset. What happened to supplies or to asset? Nung bumili tayo ng office supplies, o oh, nadagdagan, nag-increase ang ating office supplies. Again, ano pang account affected? We have cash. Anong type ng account? This is an asset. What happened to our asset or to our cash after buying office supplies for 2,000 pesos? Nag-decrease kasi nga nagbayad tayo. Lumabas yung pera, so nabawasan si cash. Balikan natin ang rules. Increases in asset with debit. So, debit office supplies. Decreases in asset with credit. So, credit cash. Now, we go to journal entry. The date, June 10. Debit office supplies. So, nakikita nyo ha kung saan ang gagaling yung debit. Saan ang gagaling yung credit. So, debit office supplies, 2,000 pesos. Credit cash, 2,000 pesos. And then, a brief explanation. Bought supplies. And then, check natin kung equal silang dalawa. So, dapat equal sila. Now, another example. Purchased furniture on cash basis or furniture acquired on cash basis. On June 11, bought tables and chairs for 7,500. So, pag sinabi natin tables and chairs, ang account na dapat pumasok sa isip natin ay furniture. Analysis ng transaction. Anong accounts ang affected? Furniture and fixture or pwedeng furniture, pwedeng office furniture, store furniture, depende sa ginamit na account or sa chart of accounts. Anong type ng accounts si furniture and fixture? We have asset. What happened to our asset when we bought tables and chairs? Of course, nag-increase. Then, ano pang affected? Cash. Anong type ng account si cash? Asset. What happened to cash when we, when we buy tables and chairs or when we bought tables and chairs? nag-decrease. Okay, nabawasan. So, balikan ng rules. Increases in asset, debit. So, debit tayo ng furniture and fixture. Decreases in asset, credit. So, credit tayo ng cash. Journal entry natin, the date, June 11. Debit, furniture and fixture, 7,500. Credit cash, 7,500. So, ano ba yung transaction? Purchase of tables and chairs. O, equal ba sila? Yes. Okay, so I hope na intindihan na. Then, we have equipment acquired on account. Pag sinabing on account, anong ibig sabihin nito? Uh, pag sinabing on account, ibig sabihin utang. So, ano daw nangyari? Uh, bumili tayo ng equipment on account. Or we acquired equipment on account. So, example of transaction, June 8, bought office equipment on account. Magkano? 10,000 pesos. So, pag sinabing on account, utang yun na eh? Utang. So, analyze tayo ng transaction. Anong accounts ang affected? Office equipment. What type of account? Of course, this is asset. What happened to our asset? Nag-increase. O, nagkaroon tayo ng equipment eh. And then, anong next account affected? Accounts payable. Anong ibig sabihin ng accounts payable? Ibig sabihin nito, meron tayong utang. Okay, bayaran ito. Obligation. Kaya, classified ito as liability. What happened to our liability? Nung tayo ay bumili ng office equipment on account, what happened to our liability? Nag-increase. Bakit nag-increase? O nadagdagan ang utang natin. So, punta tayo sa rules. Increases in asset, debit. Okay, so we debit office equipment. Then, increases in liability, we credit. So, we credit accounts payable. Let us have the journal entry. June 8, debit office equipment, magkano? 10,000 pesos. Credit accounts payable, 
10,000 pesos. So what is the transaction purchase of equipment on account? And then check again if total nilang dalawa ay equal. O diba? Madali lang. Okay, next supplies acquired on account. June 10, bought office supplies on account, 2,000 pesos. So what are the accounts affected? Of course, office supplies, type of account, asset. Ano nangyari sa ating asset? Nag-increase. Ano pa ang affected? Accounts payable. Anong type ng account ito? Liability. What happened to our liability or accounts payable? Nag-increase. So, rules. Increases in asset, debit. So, with debit office supplies, increases in liability, credit. So, we credit accounts payable. Kaya nga, oh, journal entry, okay? Ano ating journal entry on June 10? With debit office supplies. O, oh, saan galing yan? Yan siya, oh. With debit office supplies. Okay? Yan, office supplies. Debit. Kaya dito siya. Then, next is, Ah, magkano ang amount? 2,000 pesos. Then we credit accounts payable. So we credit. This is the account. Accounts payable. Kaya dito siya. Then, 2,000 pesos. And then the short description. And check if the total of debit and credit is equal. I hope uh, naintindihan. Then again, example. Furniture acquired on account. June 11, bought tables and chairs, 7,500 terms, 2 over 10 and over 30. So, pag ganyan na may terms at wala namang sinabi na may down payment, ibig sabihin, inutang yan. Okay, so ano ibig sabihin ng 2 over 10 and over 30? Ang ibig sabihin yan, nito, 2 over 10 is, kapag nagbayad ka within 10 days, kasi inutang mo lang to, Meron kang 2% na cash discount. Ano yung N over 30? Ito yung credit period mo. So, you have to pay your utang within 30 days. So, the transaction is June 11, bought tables and chairs, 7,500. You get 2% discount if you pay within 10 days, but you have to pay within 30 days. Let us analyze the transaction, accounts affected, Furniture and fixture, kasi tables and chairs ito. Anong type ng account yan? Asset. Then, nag-increase ba or nag-decrease? O, nag-increase kasi bumili tayo. Ano pa? Accounts payable. Anong type ng account? Liability. Anong nangyari sa liability nung tayo ay? Bumili ng furniture on account. Nadagdagan. So, rules. Increases in asset, debit. So, with debit, furniture, and fixture, increases in liability, we credit. So, we have credit accounts payable. So, journal entry natin, June 11, furniture and fixture. O, saan galing yan? Ito yan, o. Debit kasi siya. Debit, furniture, and fixture. 7,500. Then, credit accounts payable. Asa na si accounts payable? Ayan. Credit. Credit accounts payable. Payable. Magkano? 7,500. So, purchase of tables and chairs on account. Again, check if they are equal. Next, equipment acquired on account with down payment. Sometimes, if we are uh, purchasing or acquiring an asset or something, uh, we uh, purchase them on account pero a portion of that nagbibigay tayo ng down payment diba uso yan so para o oh, bigay mo na akong down payment tayong natira utang so how are we going to record this transaction so example June 15 bought equipment 20,000 with a down payment of 5,000 so tingnan natin mabuti ah bumili tayo ng equipment magkano ang halaga ng binili natin 20,000 May down payment tayong magkano? 5,000. So, magkano yung hindi pa natin nababayaran? 15,000. Ano yung 15,000? O, yun yung ating utang. Okay. Yun yung ating accounts payable. So, analyze natin ano ang affected. So, you see, we have three accounts affected here. The first account is office equipment. Of course, asset ito. Ano nangyari? Nadagdagan. Next, cash. 
Bakit naman apektado si Cash? Eh kasi ayan o, may down payment tayong 5,000 pesos. So meaning, apektado si Cash. Anong type ng account si Cash? Asset. Anong nangyari kay Cash nung tayo ay nagbigay ng down payment, nag-decrease or nabawasan? Ano pang affected? Accounts payable. Anong type ng account ito? Ito ay liability. So, what happened to liability? When we bought equipment, 20,000 pesos, pero may down payment na portion lamang. Hindi natin nabayaran lahat. So, what happened to liability? Nag-increase. Okay, nag-increase. So, let us have the rules. Increases in asset, debit, So, debit tayo ng equipment kasi nadagdagan si sino? Si asset. Decreases in asset, okay? We have decrease ng cash. Ano daw mangyayari? Tayo ay magki-credit. So, we credit cash. And then, increases in liability. And yun, si accounts payable. Credit tayo. So, let us have the transaction. June 15, Debit office equipment, magkano? 20,000. Kasi yun yung ating binili. Yun ang halaga niya. So, we record it at 20,000. Okay. We credit cash. Bakit tayo mag-credit ng cash? O, kasi, ang effect ng transaction ay nabawasan si cash. Magkano? O, kung magkano yung down payment. Ayan. Down payment ay 5,000. So, 5,000 din siya. Tinan nyo, oh, hindi sila pantay. May kulang na 15,000. Ano ba yun yung 15,000 na yun? Yun yung accounts payable. Magkano? 15,000. So, makikita nyo dito, ang binili nating equipment ay 20,000. Nagbigay lang tayo ng cash na 5,000. And then, the balance is utang or accounts payable. So, magkano yung balance? 15,000. So, purchased equipment on account with down payment. That is the brief description. And then, check natin. Equal ba? Yes. Equal. Parehong 20,000. Next, furniture acquired on account by issuing a note. Sometimes, we acquire assets on account. Pero, yung inuutangan natin, gusto nilang maniguro. Okay. Paano? Oh, they want us to issue a note. Ano ba yung note? It is a promissory note. So, pag nakita natin na merong note, lagi nating tatandaan na, ah, okay. Kung merong note, lapat ang pumasok sa utak ninyo ay, ano kaya ito? Note receivable or notes payable? O, oh, depende. Kapag tayo ang nag-issue ng note, o oh, tayo ay merong notes payable. So, let us have this transaction. Bought tables and chairs, 7,500 by issuing a note. So, bumili tayo ng tables and chairs. Utang, syempre. Anong kapalit? Nag-issue tayo ng promissory note. Anong accounts affected? Furniture and fixture. Anong type ng account? Asset. Ano nangyari? Nag-increase. Nadagdagan ng ating tables and chairs eh. Then, we have notes payable. Ano ito? This is a liability. Okay, this is a liability. Bakit payable? Kasi nga, tayo ang nag-issue. Tayo ang nangangako na magbabayad. So, payable, we have a liability. So, what happened to our liability when we issued a note? Okay? Nag-increase. Nadagdagan. Bakit? Nadagdagan yung notes payable natin eh. Now, the rules. Increases in asset, debit. So, debit, furniture, and fixture. Increases in liability, credit. So, credit, notes payable. Journal entry, the date, June 11. Debit, furniture and fixture, magkano? 7,500. Credit, notes payable? 7,500. This is a purchase of tables and chairs by issuing a note. So, check natin, equal ba? Yes, equal sila. Then, let us have this one. Purchase of a machine with incidental expenses. Ano yung incidental expenses? Ito yung mga, may mga ginastos ka pa bago mo siya gamitin sa operation sa business. Kasi bumibili tayo ng mga assets to be used in the operation. So, example nito, yung mga 
insurance, transportation, or freight. Okay. Kapag in-import mo pa to galing sa ibang bansa, may mga customs fees. Okay. At marami pang iba. So, let us have this transaction. On June 18, bought a machine from Japan, 80,000 pesos. The following expenses were paid. Freight, 5,000. Ano yung freight? Ito yung sa transportation cost. Then, insurance, 1,000. And other charges, 2,000 pesos. So, itong freight, insurance, saka other charges, ito yung mga tinatawag nating incidental expenses. So, paano ba natin sila i -re record yung mga incidental expenses? So, let us analyze the transaction. Anong accounts affected o machinery? Anong klaseng account ito? Asset. Nag-increase ba or nag-decrease? O syempre, nadagdagan. Bumili tayo eh. Nagkaroon tayo ng machine, so nadagdagan. Then, cash. Affected si cash. Bakit? Bumili tayo eh. Walang sinabi na utang siya. Walang sinabi na nag-issue tayo ng note. So, it is understood na ito ay binili natin ng cash. Type of account? Asset. Then, ano nangyari sa cash? O syempre, nag-decrease kasi bumili tayo, lumabas ang pera. So, analyze tayo. Increases in asset, debit. So, we debit machinery. Decreases in asset is credit. So, we credit cash. Now, let's have uh, the journal entry. So, the date first, June 11. Then, debit machinery. 88,000. So, paano naging 88,000 yun? Okay, paano naging 88,000? Take note of this one. The cost of a fixed asset daw, okay, that is machinery. Example of a fixed asset is machinery. So, what is the cost of a fixed asset? It is equal to the invoice cost. Ano invoice cost? Kung magkano mo pinili. Okay. Invoice cost plus all the incidental charges in connection with its acquisition. Other charges like installation cost to put the asset into use will likewise be part of cost. However, after using the asset for some time, repairs will be charged to a proper expense account like repairs expense. So, paano siya naging 88,000? Asa na yun? Okay. Paano siya naging 88,000 yan? Paano ba naging 88,000 yan? Kasi binili lamang natin ng 80,000. So, ayan. Yan siya. 80,000, that is the invoice cost. Plus, the incidental charges. What are example of incidental charges? We have freight, insurance, and other charges. So, that is what? Total of 8,000. So, 80,000 plus 5,000 plus 1,000 plus 2,000. We have 88,000. I hope na hukuha, ha? And then, we credit cash. Magkano? Magkano ba lumabas na pera? Of course, 88,000 lahat yung binayaran mo. So, we purchase machinery. Again, check kung equal sila. So, laging tatandaan, anong uh, mga expenses or mga incidental expenses ang pwede lamang idagdag sa cost ng fixed asset. Ito lamang ay ano daw? Incidental charges or expenses in connection with its acquisition. Example, binili mo siya sa Japan. So, paano siya makarating dito sa Philippines? So, syempre, ah, uh, Ita-travel siya sa aeroplano. Nagbayad tayo ng 5,000. O nagbayad din tayo ng insurance. Kasi nga, pag dinatravel natin, may insurance. O may iba pang charges like mga customs fee. Or mga kung ano-ano pang mga charges. So, basta lahat ng incidental charges na connected or related sa pagbili. Okay? Ano pa? Sa installation or lahat ng ginastos mo bago mo siya gamitin sa operation sa business or bago mo siya gamitin sa iyong business, lahat ng yon ay considered as part of the cost of the fixed asset. So, idadagdag mo yon saan? Sa invoice cost. Paano kung uh, nagamit mo na yung, ano, yung machine tapos bigla siyang nasira? O kapag na-start mo na siyang gamitan, tapos bigla siyang nasira, pinaayos mo, idadagdag pa ba natin sa cost ng machinery? Hindi na. Yun ay i-charge na natin sa ala, saan sa expense. Example of that is repairs 
expense. So, expense na siya. Hindi na siya part ng ating fixed asset. I hope this is clear. Then, we go to payment of account of fixed asset with a discount. Sometimes, we purchase or we acquire fixed assets or assets na merong discount. Kapag may discount, depende kasi yan eh. O nakabayad ba tayo within the discount period o uh, beyond the discount period. So, tingnan natin. Furniture acquired on account. Actually, ito yung sample natin kanina. So, June 11, bought tables and shares, 7,500. Terms, 2 over 10 and over 30. Yan yung dinidiscuss ko kanina. Yung 2 over 10 means there is a 2% cash discount if paid within 10 days. Okay. Ano yung N over 30? This one? N over 30. Ano nga ang N over 30? N over 30 is? That is the 30 is the credit period. So meaning we have to pay within 30 days. Pag nagbayad ka within 10 days, may 2% discount ka. So, Anong accounts affected? Furniture and fixture. Asset ito. Anong nangyari? Nag-increase. Ano pang affected? Accounts payable. Anong klaseng account? Liability. Bakit liability? Naka-terms eh. Wala namang sinabing nag-bayad tayo ng cash. Merong terms. 2 over 10 and over 30. Meaning, inutang ito. So, what happened to liability? Nag-increase. The rules? Increases in asset. Debit. Okay, increases in liability, credit. Okay, let us have this entry. June 11, debit, furniture, and fixture, 7.5. Credit, accounts payable, 7.5. Okay, equal ba? Yes. Oh, madali lang to. Ang next na problema dito is, di ba inutang natin to? So, magbabayad tayo. So, lagi nating tatandaan, pag nagbayad tayo, uh, iti-check natin na avail ba natin si discount o hindi. Paano malaman if na-avail si discount? Kapag nagbayad tayo within 10 days. Ilang percent ang ating discount? We have 2% cash discount. Okay. What if yung inutang natin kanina, magbabayad na tayo? Oh, with a discount daw. Meaning, nagbayad tayo within the discount period. O balikan natin na June 11 natin siya binili. Noong June 19, oh, we paid the tables and shares bought on June 11. Mm. Nagbayad tayo. So, analyze tayo ng transaction. Anong affected? Accounts payable. Bakit affected sa accounts payable? Nagbayad tayo eh, ng utang. Anong type ng account ito? Liability. What happened to liability when we paid the tables and shares? Nag- decrease nabawasan bakit nabawasan ang utang nagbayad tayo eh ano pa ang affected furniture and fixture anong type ng account asset what happened nag decrease bakit nag decrease or later we are going to know why basta tandaan nag decrease si asset furniture and fixture and then we have cash type of account asset of course what happened to our cash or asset? Nag-decrease. Bakit nag-decrease? Siyempre, nagbayad tayo, nabawasan ng ating pera. So, rules, decreases in liability, debit. Decreases in asset, okay, credit. So, credit yung dalawang yan. Entry natin, debit. Okay, accounts payable, 7.5. Credit, furniture and fixture. O, tingnan na, take note ha, credit, furniture and fixture, magkano? 150 pesos. Saan nang gagaling si 150 pesos? So, tingnan nyo mabuti. Credit tayo ng furniture and fixture. Bakit tayo nag-credit? Diba sabi natin kanina, nag-decrease si furniture and fixture. 150, bakit kaya siya nabawasan ng 150? Saan galing yan? Because there is a cash discount of 150 pesos. Kaya nabawasan si furniture and fixture kasi may discount na 150 pesos. Paano na compute ang 150 pesos? 2% times 7.5. Magkano mo binili? 7,500 times 2%. Ano yung 2%? Ito ay nanggagaling doon sa 2 over 10. 
I need to offer 10, you have a 2% discount if you pay within 10 days. So because the payment was made within the discount period of 10 days, we are going to what? Have a 2% discount. So nagbayad nga ba within 10 days? Yes. Kailan natin uh, binayaran? June 19. Kailan natin binili? June 11. So June 19 minus 11, we have 8 days. So 8 days, after 8 days natin binayaran. So, nagbayad tayo within the discount period of 10 days. So, we have a 2% discount, 150 pesos. Credit cash, magkano? 7,350. Saan ang gagaling si 7,350? Yung ating 7,500 na utang minus yung discount na 150. Okay. Ayan. Ayan. So, laging tatandaan, if discounts or returns are made, the credit will be the fixed asset account because discounts and returns decrease the cost of the fixed asset. So, bakit nabawasan si furniture and fixture? Kasi nga, ang effect ng discount ay alen, binabawasan niya ang cost ng ating fixed asset. So, ang halaga na lang talaga ng fixed asset natin ay 7,350 na lang. Okay. We're done. I hope na intindihan nyo ang um, mga diniscuss natin examples. And again, if you have questions, comment lang. And if I have time, um, I will answer all your questions. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. And I hope you are going to enjoy accounting. So God bless you all.